Hi guys, thank you for watching Edipedia World video. In this session, we will have a brief overview of SAP Business One architecture. Let's see what is an ERP architecture. We may have encountered this question. What is an ERP architecture? What does it mean? It is absolutely necessary to know what is an ERP architecture, which will encourage us to explore deeply and thoroughly how an ERP system works. Let's have a look over SAP Business One architecture. There is a client, there is a database, there is a server, there is integration toolkit, there are services like mail and backup. This SAP Business One architecture is a very simple depiction of the actual SAP Business One architecture. Now let's come back to the question. So what is an ERP architecture, what does it mean? ERP systems are dependent on the consistent storage of large amount of data, master and transaction data. An enterprise classes uh, or rather classifies relational data and is uh, classified into subcategories as well. Now this data is processed by numerous programs within the ERP software and the results are presented to the end user through the sum uh, user interface. When we talk about ERP architecture, it is also necessary to know how an ERP system has been deployed in an organization. That means as a consultant, as a company who implements an ERP, you need to be careful whether how and uh, what are the steps of implementation that have been followed. Because a bad implemented ERP could cause severe damage to the business. In a typical two-tier architecture, the server handles both application and database duties. The clients are responsible for presenting the data and passing user input back to the server. So, how does the SAP Business One architecture look like? Let's see about the features of the architecture. There is a usability feature, there is a product architecture feature, there is an applicability feature, there is an integration feature, there are interfaces. Seamless integrated solution, that is what you get when you take on SAP Business One for your business. It has a Windows look and feel, it has simple navigation, it has drilled down to details. That means when you see an information, say a customer name, and when you drill down to that customer name, you will get all the details related to that customer. There is a drag and relate feature which we will be shortly looking into. Let's see about the product architecture, about the uh, SAP Business One. In recent time, majority of the ERP system utilize a relational data for data layer in three tier client server architecture. The logic or processing layer is the second tier in such architecture. Here lays the implementation of business logic, business processes, business rules, authentication and user management. The presentation layer forms the third layer. Now in a typical two tier architecture, the server handles both application and database duties. The client uh, is responsible for presenting the data and passing user input back to the server. While there may be a multiple server uh, and the client may be distributed across several types of local and wide area links. This di distribution of processing responsibilities remains the same. Let's see what is an SDK. SDK stands for St Software Development Kit. Here in this presentation we will not be looking uh, over SDK in detail, but I'll be just presenting a definition of SDK. Now SDK contains of data interface application programming interface that is DI API and user interface application programming interface that is UI API. These two interfaces uh, comprise of SDK and these are handy when you for the companies those who make add-ons for SAP Business One. Let's see some key menu items of SAP Business One. Firstly there is administration. 
Now administration consists of uh, some basic configuration and some basic information that you need to put in before you start using the software. Administration where you configure SAP Business One for your business, where you specify the currency exchange rates, authorization and alerts and approvals, who will approve what document, what are the authorizations, what are the alerts and wh when do I get them. What is my internal mail organization? What is the basic email setting and other information? Here in administration, one can configure the user authorization. Uh, they can uh, define their roles. They can decide what user and which user would see or would be able to see or rather read and write or only read uh, the documents. Also administration uh, comes in handy when you need to in, uh, interact with non-SAP software using data import and export functions. Financial. This module includes all function and report required for all financial and accounting operation for your business. Reportings for all your tax related transaction and enables you to document all financial and accounting related transactions. Purchase. SAP Business One has a purchase module that enables you to manage the entire purchasing process from uh, placing a purchase order to uh, invoicing those orders and furthermore creating reports to analyze the information such as purchase volume analysis, pricing information, vendor liabilities that is aging and so on. Aging defines uh, which vendor uh, has not paid uh, or rather which vendor has not been paid by the company and is due to be paid. Production. We can use this module to create and maintain bill of materials, production orders and do lots more. SF Business One supports the following types of production order, standard, special and disassembly. Let's see about MRP. MRP calculates gross requirements for highest bill of material that is BOM. A BOM is nothing but a uh, an assembly type wherein some small part or sub parts go in and make a final good. Example, say if you are making a one liter uh, uh, cold drink bottle. So what will be your bomb? Your bomb will be the filling in your, with that will consist of your filling in the cold drink. Let's see about MRP. MRP calculates the gross requirement for highest bill of materials, bomb level based on existing inventory, sales order, purchasing order, production order, forecast and so on. It calculates gross requirement at the lowest BOM level by carrying down net parent demand through BOM structure. What is BOM? BOM stands for bill of material. BOM is nothing but a combination or uh, an assembly that is, that is made up of uh, sub assembly part. A bomb is a commonly used term within a business. Business partners. Business partner con consists of customers, vendors and leads. Leads are the interested party who may or may not convert into customers. In business partner module, you can specify the ship to, bill to, the locations and the currency of the, the business partner and much more. Also in business partner, you get uh, an intelligent uh, graph that you that you will help you to understand what has been the trend of this business partner regarding your business inventory it is the most important part of uh, any ERP where you maintain the items where you maintain what goes in where you maintain what you are making where you maintain what you are selling so it is nothing but managing the item master data records working with serial and batch numbers managing inventory transaction includes good receipt Goods issue, inventory transfer, initial item quantity, settings and inventory count. Good receipts and goods issue come in handy when there is a mismatch between the actual and the percepted uh, quantities. Managing price lists including period and volume discounts and special prices. Working with pick and pack processes. Generating inventory related reports. Human resource. Human resource is the most important asset of any company and that's why to have a module within uh, any ERP is very important. 
now you can enter and maintain general and personal employee information such as age passport id number uh, and lots more you can manage information regarding employee education previous job records results of professional reviews and absentees you can um, analyze employee cost and salaries also you can create various reports and employee lists to run your business more efficiently please stay tuned for the coming sessions we would we'll, we'll jump into sap business one its look and feel the menu items and we will go through sales but through uh, the perspective of e erp systems thank you